Love, Death and Robots Season 3 is out on Netflix. It's an animated anthology series with short episodes ranging between 7 and around 20 minutes long, made by different studios in different styles, but all of them being roughly in the realms of science fiction, fantasy and horror. Uh, the first season a few years back was an absolute revelation for me. It came out of nowhere and I loved most of those shorts. Uh, I thought it was a really creative and th fun thing to watch. The second season had a dip in quality, but I thought it was still alright. Uh, now the third one seems to pick it back up, with about half of the episodes being fantastic in my opinion, and only one of the rest dropping to what I would call average. Uh, in general I can still recommend the entire thing, because anthologies have it to them that different people will enjoy different parts of them more. And even in the worst case scenario you'll only waste a few minutes on the ones that don't work for you. Uh, my personal favorites from this volume include Bad Traveling, uh, an amazing pirate horror tale directed by none other than David Fincher, Swarm, about humans trying to exploit an alien uh, hive mind race, uh, In Vaulted Halls Entombed, about a team of soldiers encountering a ter uh, terrifying secret uh, while on a mission, and finally, Jibaro, uh, perhaps the most uniquely creative out of, uh, out of the whole, whole bunch, uh, about a deaf knight who encounters a woodland spirit of sorts. Uh, the animation throughout those shorts, and uh, to be honest, most others as well, the ones that I didn't mention, is crisp and beautiful as always, and showcases several different styles. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the whole thing can be watched in like two hours, which I think is well worth the time investment. Check it out on Netflix.